Hey guys, this is Toph, and welcome to the first episode of Anime Flashbacks. So, for this first episode, we're doing Ayuri Yoshi. Ayuri Yoshi is in the slice of life romantic comedy genre, but certainly focuses very primarily on the slice of life aspects. It has two seasons, the first of which is 24 episodes, and the second of which is 12 episodes. The story is about a college student living on his own who meets an array of different girls in a typical harem style, starting with his childhood betrothed, Aoi. Aoi moves in with him until circumstances change and he ends up having to move into a shed near one of her mansions. Through the first six episodes, and a whole array of other girls join them in the mansion, and they all live together. Starting from the left to the right, we have Takio, who is the big boob, bespectral, clumsy maid, pretty typical character, Tina, the hick American party girl, Kaoru, of course, the main character, who is mostly bland, but at least has a pretty decent and interesting backstory. Mayu, who's a smart, serious, rich girl, who would really be to the typical tsundere, but as opposed to that, is actually very forthwith with her feelings. And then we have Aoi, who is unconditionally loyal to him and his childhood betrothed. We have Miyabi, who is Aoi's manager and resident Christmas cake. And then finally, we have Chika, who is the tan lolly of the show. So I guess this is my first main criticism of the show, is just the fact there's so many characters, all of whom who have some sort of romantic feelings towards the main character, and it just becomes a little excessive when there's this many of them. Yes, Chika and Miyabi, the little girl and the manager, don't really ever fully come to have true romantic feelings for him, even though they occasionally have somewhat, I guess, crushes for him. All the other ones certainly do, and even they have had feelings of some kind throughout the story. So I watched Ayori Yoshi dubbed, which comes with pros and cons. <laughs> As a, well, I'm sure a lot of people were sitting there thinking it's all cons, but there were some pros. So first of all, the cons. The voice acting is pretty terrible. I'm not even a dub hater. I do prefer subs in general but I'm certainly willing to watch dubs, and in fact, there's actually several dubs that I like better than their sub-counterparts. But in this show, I don't think that would be one of them. However, the pro of it was the fact that I don't think I would have liked this overall anime much better, even if I had watched it subbed. And in fact, I might have ended up liking it worse because I would have had to pay so much more attention to it. At least with the dub, I'd have to focus on all the silliness at every single second. And to be fair, the dub cast, a lot of the lines are just downright cringy, and I'm sure they had no control over that. It's just hard to deliver a line authentically when the line itself is just so ridiculous. <laughs> Most of the events and settings of the lines are basically just as ridiculous and corny as the lines themselves, so I'm not sure how much the sub would have really improved the show overall. Really all I have to say about the art, because you can see it in the background and judge for yourself, is that it does its job, it's sufficient, but at the same time, it's absolutely nothing special. So in sort of conclusion, Ayori Yoshi, there's nothing particularly wrong with it. It doesn't have just glaring flaws that just cannot, for the life of anyone, be overlooked. But at the same time, it's just extremely average. It's a very average slice of life, and if that's what you're willing to watch then that's great go ahead and watch it and i would recommend it dubbed again like i said even though the sub is probably better at least you don't have to pay full attention to it so if you're playing a video game you just want to watch a relatively happy mild show that you don't really have to pay attention to then it's okay for that kind of setting but if you value your time i suppose and you're actually sitting down just purely to watch a show then i just cannot recommend it and definitely have to discourage it in the end, it's just not that memorable. I had to go back because on my anime list, I didn't actually have that I'd watched the second season. So I had to go back and watch through lots of random parts of the second season before I remembered a scene that I knew for sure I had watched. So it took me forever to even remember if I had watched any of the second season, even going through it again. All the scenes seem vaguely familiar, but they were. Just, but all the scenes in the first one just seem vaguely familiar. So it's just, there's no real true moments that just really stick out and it's just not a very memorable series. So in the description below I will put a list of animes that I think are similar to Ayori Yoshi but are definitely better. In the parentheses I'll put the main type of genre differences. A lot of them will be kind of, you know, in high school 
and have supernatural settings. So if you're really looking, if Iori Yoshi appealed to you because it's more, I guess, adult because he's in college and it's not at all fantasy, it's very realistic, then the two I would mostly recommend are Golden Time and Nana, both of which are a decent amount darker than Iori Yoshi, but I think are definitely worth it and are infinitely better. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for Iori Yoshi. I'm glad to have been able to talk about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This marks the end of the first episode of Toph Talks Anime Flashbacks. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.